I don't think I was quite swept away with the euphoria. The very initial thought was, why, how wonderful. You know, London is a brilliant city. How lovely to better showcase it to other people. Kind of generate jobs and maybe some of our slightly run-down infrastructure might get a bit of a boost. So we were looking forward to some opportunities for people to do some smart thinking around our urban fabric and what might be upgraded or improved. From an environmental and climate change perspective, I'm quite concerned around these big events like the Olympics simply because they generate huge amounts of air travel, huge amounts of additional carbon emissions. It's great to see these kind of events, but I do have you know, some environmental concerns about us continuing to live and stretch the planet way beyond what it's able to support. I feel has been, had quite a negative impact on the borough so far. I don't know what the legacy will be like, although it doesn't look too promising. I guess what I see is the severance um, in terms of the Olympic site, the site that's been taken over, uh, the impact in terms of traffic, in terms of bridges, in terms of works. Having, having Being a cyclist and having gone down there a lot, um, I've noticed that... Uh, the facilities may be great in a few years' time, although I don't think they will be. What I do notice is the construction, the disruption from that is really quite immense, and it's certainly not geared around um, pedestrians or, or people on bikes. It's geared for lorries and motor traffic, and that, I think, is a huge shame because it's really disrupting the area, particularly around um, South Leighton, where it's obviously got its own challenges. This is really adding to it in a major way. In the Olympics itself, my understanding is we won't be able to cycle around the site. We'll have to park our bikes outside and walk in. Really, I think we could have done better than that. My fear is the legacy from the Olympics will be nothing like as originally envisaged. It won't be so strong, won't be so positive, won't be so vibrant. It won't be about local communities thriving. It will be about business, about open space being eaten up. Inside, amazing stuff. On the periphery, just on the edge, loads of chaos. So, you know, say the road network's completely stuffed. Beyond that, beyond the immediate periphery, virtually nothing, I think, for the community. And that's what's been so hugely disappointing. So much potential really just seems to have disappeared into thin air. I, mean, I thought the site was so huge that they'd be able to accommodate all the services, all of the needs within that site. Um, so I'm very, very disappointed to see that there seems to be a lot of overspill um, in terms of servicing. There's the Draper's Fields, there's the Wanstead Flats being used for pieces, there's the area, there's the golf course now, which is going to be appropriate for camping. I mean, where is it all going to stop? There's, there's a public right of way that goes through that. What they're doing to our landscape is indefensible. Um, I feel the borough is getting very little benefit and most of the disadvantages. It's a huge, huge project and I'm not pretending I would have run it any better. I think it was a massive, massive enterprise uh, with not enough time and um, really people not being able to stick to the vision. They're being swept away by, by financial constraints, businesses stepping in and of course business will trample over everything.